You look right, there's no one around. And this is a pure blue ocean. Okay, all pure blue ocean eventually may have brands that come into your sphere and it becomes more and more competitive. But let me ask you, is it better to jump into a blue ocean and get started in your business or go straight into a red ocean? Yeah, I think it's uh, quite, quite needless. Huh? Everybody will know that. So before you jump into or start a business, think carefully about that. Like I say, interrogate your, your, your business goal. Okay, interrogate your business plan. Okay, and then the next thing is you can talk about it, you can talk about it, you can talk about it. What do you want to do while you're talking about it? To have business? As in to have customer? Yes? No. Listen carefully. I always tell all my business associates, including all the social entrepreneurs who I train, your first step in starting a business it's not to go out and try to grab customer. You are solo. Then, it's go and stay together. Yeah, build first team first. Build your first, build your first partner. But not partner in crime, lah. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah, build your first partner, and then attract yet another one. Uh, can we lower the light a little? Yeah, just now we, they were dancing, right? They want to make sure that you can see the floor, you know? Yeah. Okay, good, thanks. So you want to attract partners. Because partner then create that, that team environment where just now we, we talk about your superhero, right? Who are the, who are the Superman here? Hey, no Superman. Uh. We have Batman, right? How many Batmans here? Oh, you have two Batman here. Oh, I think, I think uh, Wonder Woman a lot. Like, how many Wonder Woman here? Huh? You see, uh, even how powerful you are as a superhero, uh, no superhero run around by himself. Uh. Are you men so what? Huh? How uh? right. Are you men also need the, the Captain America to rescue you? Uh? Correct. So Batman, how then? Uh? Right. Batman also need to work with the others. Okay. So even superhero needs to work with each other. So your role as an entrepreneur in the first place, unless you have that kind of ego maniac whereby you want to just make all the success all by yourself, okay, which is what we call super uh, solo entrepreneurs. Uh. Otherwise, build teams. Now build teams, uh, I have these few advice to give you. These are golden advice. Uh, okay? This is a spark. Team creates sparks. Individually can only create so much magic, right? Now, number one is if you want to go fast, go solo. Ah. That's the easiest. You, you go to the west, you go to the east, you don't go anywhere, also up to you, right? But you can't go what? If you want to go fast, you go by yourself, but you can't go very far. Okay, you want to go far, go as a team, okay? So all of us, whatever crazy idea you have, like me, when I, when I first started with a project, a day in a wheelchair, it was a crazy idea. I proved, can I prove that it will work? I can't. But no matter how crazy your idea is, when you can communicate well enough, passionate enough, definitive enough, pragmatic enough, you will always get one or two of them who will agree, who will back you up who will say, well, I do not know how you're going to do it, but anyway, I'm happy, I'm, cra I'm, I'm, I'm equally crazy about your crazy idea. And they walk along with you. So that was how I started the project a day in the wheelchair. What, 1999, that's how many years ago? That's like 20 over years ago. Yeah, were you born yet? You were two years old. I could have, I could have pitched to you and uh, <laughs> got you to be my partner then, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two year old at the time can can sit on the somebody's uh, wheelchair. Yeah, <laughs> sit on somebody who sat on the wheelchair. Yeah, right. And in the same way, in the year two twenty oh seven, okay, when we had the when we had the idea that traditional Chinese medicine is something that is very complex, right? Right. So we decided, myself and a few guys, we decided in this company here, we decided, 
hey, let's make TCM simple. Let's make TCM A, B, C. Maybe you will not even see like, A, B, Gao Liao. Eh? On teaching people how to prevent sickness. Okay? Improve their health. Improve their immunity. And we launched Meridian 101. Now, at that point in time, it was also, even until now, it was pretty much a blue ocean opportunity. Because when we created it, we sell it as, we pitch it as a Meridian 101. 101 means very simple, lah, right? Accounting 101, business 101. So we position it as Meridian 101. I say that let's go out there because there's so many people out there who wants to prevent illness. Yes or no? Right? Whether it's retiree or non-retiree, old, young, young parents, yeah? Young parents who want to help their babies to prevent illnesses, okay? Recover from fever and all that. You name it. We have the whole world at our feet. But what can I do as one, no matter how intelligent, how smart I am, I created a whole Maria 101 system. What? One mouth? Talk. One mouth, serve one customer, serve another customer. Can't do much. Eh? So build team is the most important. Okay? So I didn't, I didn't got myself busy going out there and start talking. Subsequently, when People Association invited me to go to give talks in all the cities in, the, in Singapore, how can I do? I, one day I talked to three CC, I no more voice already. I, so the reason, I mean, the how I did it was I started to pitch it to all my potential business partner. I pitch it to them and say that, look, I had this crazy idea. <laughs> okay, I wanted to bring TCM not only in Singapore, the Chinese population here very big, but I wanted to bring it to Philippines, I want to bring it to Indonesia, I want to bring it to India, Africa, the world over, including all the Western countries. But I can't do it alone. I think there's multi-million, billion dollar business out there to be had. Will you be keen to partner with me and do something that never been done before? Right? Can I prove to you at that point in time that it will work? Was it easy? Nothing is easy, I told you, right? But we try. We start. Right? And today, today, Meridian 101 is a movement that is moving in over, I think, about 20 countries, if I'm not wrong. Right? Nine countries across here. Right? But we have African children practicing Meridian 101 in Kenya. We have sporadic individuals who have learned from our center here and brought to Sweden, brought to Finland, brought to all this very interesting country where? Houston, right? And then we have people practicing it in Japan, in Taiwan, in China, in Australia, in New Zealand, in so many countries. It all started 15 years ago as an idea. Could I put it off? Could I foresee that 15 years ago, 15 years later, it would be like that? I tell you, I could foresee that. It was in my vision. In fact, it will be the whole half the globe over the next 10 years. But how can that be done if it's only me? That's why branding is important. That's why visioning is important. Let's wind back the clock early in the morning, 10 o'clock. Not the vision, the vision, the vivid vision, very, very clear. Because I have never stopped pitching it the way I pitched from 2007 until today. I'm still telling the same old story, the same old crazy idea. But the idea is less of a virgin idea now because it has taken a bit of a, of a shape already, right? People can see. In fact, now it's easier to sell that idea than 15 years ago. Like 15 years ago, very tough like, because no, nobody has. Nobody has seen it before, okay? So it's the same vision. And then we set goals. Okay, the goal of giving a very powerful talk in Singapore, we made it happen successfully in Singapore first. So I came up with plans, I came up with branding, I came up with the marketing. I started talking to friends in people association because to me is that if I could launch myself into people association across the network of... Uh, community center and then we have a branding national branding already 
So you see, it is all part of the goals and part of the plans. And then talk and talk and talk. And over time, I managed to get attracted very, very capable people. Chong Ping here, right? Who is a director of two listed company. Some of you have heard his story, except the, you, you have to buy him dinner afterwards. If you want to hear his amazing story that he shared uh, last two weeks, okay? Because you are not here. Oh, you are not here as well. Okay. You have to buy him supper. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but like that, uh, like that, you will grow bigger and bigger. <laughs> okay, like ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Yeah, ice cream is so very fattening. <laughs> okay. And I have uh, Wendy here who runs a traditional business to turn uh, my business partner over here. And I have Kit who started with me in uh, uh, Singapore Adventures Club. Okay. Uh, one of those who say, Yes, for the project, a day in a wheelchair. Okay, he was running around, you know, guiding the wheelchair on a crazy day. I don't know where he, he can ask him to share his story. I have Jermaine here, who is a TCM physician. Okay, embrace this idea. So we have people from all walks of life coming, one after another, chain interior design firm boss. And then we have Daphne, who just joined us uh, this afternoon. Okay, she's a uh, lady boss of her own garment factory over in uh, Cambodia. And we have all these interesting entrepreneurs who come along, okay, and then we support each other. Team. And guess what? The third point that's very important. Team is a result of what? Can we say together? I say this, uh, deliberate talent hunting. Now, this is an important concept because it differentiates two kinds of entrepreneur. One kind of entrepreneur set up shop on the on the online website, something like that, or get a get a storefront in a Shopee or, or Lazada or whatever, and you wait. You wait because you have no idea who would join you or who would come, you know. Maybe investor, maybe customer, maybe whatever. So these are the kind of passive entrepreneur. Set up shop. Even if a, a TCM physician, you sit in a clinic, right? You sit in your, your clinic, you wait for, uh, wait for your customer to come knocking. Ice cream parlor also the same. Right? Right? But there's another kind of entrepreneur that we go out and we very, very deliberate look for the kind of customer and the kind of partner that we want to partner with. I belong to the second kind. When I started my Tigerland rice farm, I ver I'm very, very specific on who I will partner with to build it up. I was very specific in who I partner with to build up my Mer Meridian 101 uh, business. I was also very specific when I went and talent hunt for the right people to work with me to make the project in the wheel a day in the wheelchair a success. Okay? So, Building your team is really important. How you go about building team? Is it like putting an article in a newspaper, a classified ad, and you hope for the best, the right partner will come in? You're not like hiring people. Okay, you are talent hunting good people. So in other words, we have a, we have a very deliberate approach in our, in, in our Avita business, a business uh, our SOP, how we talent hunt good people, how we approach them, how we explain the business and then how we enroll them and we grow the business successfully together. Okay, it's a process, okay, but I wouldn't go to too much of the detail, but I want to highlight to you that whatever business entrepreneur, entrepreneur project that you ever envisage, whether it's a social entrepreneur project, whether it's a social project, non-profit, or whether it is uh, working with the uh, ladies from the prison, starting some kind of business project, Okay, hunting the right people coming together, very, very crucial. The other question you must ask yourself is, what kind of quality you want from the people you're looking for? If a tutor going out there and say, I only want to work with other tutors because we speak the same language. Because we talk about calculus, we talk about uh, cosine, sine, wave, and whatever not. Then you, you, know, you, you have the same kind of inbreeding you don't have the kind of diversity, right? So yes, she say what? Sure, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you don't want that. You don't want that. You, if this is a ship captain, 
or former ship captain. Right? Then all you want is looking for other ship captain. How many ship captain are there? Okay, yeah, one and only Anthony, right? Yeah. So you understand yourself. What 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 type are you? Are you a good planner? Let, let me ask you. Uh, let's let's just do because some of us know each other quite well, right? Chongping. What do you think Chongping is his strength is? Come? Those who know Chong. Speaker trainer. IT support, very IT powerful, right? What else? Problem solver, yeah? See? So you have some profile of this person, yeah? Okay, what is the strength of uh, Kate? Media savvy. Social media savvy. What else? Huh? Social media, yeah. What else? Meridian 101 speaker and trainer. Very, very good. Yeah, what else? Mentorship. Yeah. See, everyone has got its own profile. So it is a little bit like the Liang San. Uh. <laughs> yeah, 108 hero. You know, some can hear very far. Some can run very fast. Some can carry weight. You know, oh, you know it's a bit like that. So you want to join an, a, a, a team uh, that is like that, already there. Then you become the 109th. Uh. <laughs> okay? Then you will, you will grow faster. Okay? So here, I, I would like you with perspective to your own interest and your own um, entrepreneurial goal. Let's get into this gut response. Discuss around your table, okay? The first question is this. What kind of attribute and quality you want to attract? Okay? Are you purposeful? Because you are not, then you are just looking at human being around. You may end up having orangutan joining you. Okay? So you, you must also be very purposeful. What kind of quality, what kind of attributes that will reinforce and make your, your strength. It could be your weakness also. Their attribute and their quality may also be your weaknesses also. Okay? So that together then you have a, what you call that? The, the Avengers team. Alright? Can you discuss this? Okay? Come. Help each other, yeah? Because like your own projects.